Grand rising, grand rising. As you know me, I woke up like this. How's everyone doing? Thank you for the continued love and support. I really do appreciate it. The like, shares, comments, as well as subscribes. Hello, hello to all my new subscribers. What's good was popping. So we will get some messages from Spirit, okay? Only take messages that resonate. All right. Get some positive messages from Spirit pertaining your career. Okay. Pertaining their career, spirit, what messages does the collective need to know? Karain, I said Karaina. So somebody named Karima or Karain or Crane or Kena. Okay, so let's see. Spirit guys, universe, ancestors of the highest white light. Please give me clear, precise messages, please, and thank you. All right. Whoa, hold on, wait a minute. So we got number 21, oh so you have been living many lifetimes and gained wisdom beyond your years. So some of you guys, because of the wisdom and the knowledge that you have stored up in you, it's something that you're supposed to be doing to express those experiences or just express your life, just period, okay? That don't mean make a channel, one, 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 and just start telling everybody your life, your business, but it's good to like at least make um like blogs or something like that to get yourself out there more. Okay, because it's a lot of knowledge that you have that others would like to know or learn as well. Yeah, we have connection. 29, you are very connected to the heavenly realm. So, your spirit guys is going to connect you. Okay. I'm hearing to unseen realms. So, in the dream state, you're, they're taking you to other realms. So, you have to pay attention to your dreams. Okay. I know that goes for me. One, four, four. Because sometimes when I be sleeping, I be too much in my dream. And I just let it go. Okay. But, like, eventually when I wake up, I, like, remember a glimpse or half of it or whatever the case may be. So, you're definitely being, um, you're definitely doing spiritual work, spiritual work in unseen realms, okay? 33, 33 could be significant, or well, threes are very significant, okay? Threes are a form of expression, so you might need to see what you have for your life path number, okay? And that can help you a lot. Also, for some of you, hmm... You need to do more journaling, okay? That's another way, a form of expression. Two, two, two is on the top. All right, let's get one mouse through it. And we have 72 earth shifts. So you're going through a shift right now. So a portal is opening up for you guys, okay? To use, to manifest, okay? In a healthy, positive way. So don't take advantage of this portal that's coming up, which is the Lion's Gate very soon. We have you are very connected to Mother Earth, and as such, you experience all that she does exactly. So you're staying grounded, or you need to ground yourself, okay? Meditate today, even if it's for a good 10, 15, 20, or 30 minutes, okay? Or just turn it on and put your AirPods in and just walk around the house, or when you're out and about, just turn it on and listen to it, okay? Because it'll keep you grounded to Gaia, okay? Mother Gaia. And at the bottom of the deck, the magic touch. 39 you are accessing true magic from deep within and angel numbers are very significant we already have 33 33 and 333 out here okay so pay attention to the synchronicities that you are receiving at this time the messages okay especially when it comes to your dream state i don't know why i got all these cars falling out of me go close that door zoe please hold on y'all it's a like i'm all over the place today what's going on <laughs> What's going on? Is somebody nervous or anxious or excited or like, look, that's the truth. Like you made someone day this morning or it could have been last night or whatever y'all got going on. Look, let me buy my business. Let me just sit by tea. I'm curvy. All right, let's see. <laughs> Messages. The three of cups. So you are having a party, a celebration, or you could be having a gathering girl. So whether it's a housewoman or oh, it's a housewoman. What's this three of cups? It's in that box right there on the counter, Zoe, please. What's this three of cups? Excuse me. The queen of pentacles in reverse. Why is this queen of pentacles in reverse? For some of you guys, you feel like that you are like, it's on the counter in the kitchen, baby girl. In that box. Excuse me, y'all. Um, look in the box right there. Grab that box. Grab that box. Yeah, just grab it. Okay. No, it's in the microwave. Look in the microwave. I'm so sorry, y'all. Please excuse me. 
okay? So, for some of you guys, you might need to hold back on going out with your friends and doing a lot of partying. So, some of you guys are partying a lot, okay? And then you're waking up with a hangover and, you're, and then you, you wonder why you don't feel like going to work. So, Spirit is saying, make sure you guys are like taking a break sometimes when it goes to the partying or hanging out, chilling, drinking, okay? There's nothing wrong with that. You can do whatever it is you want to do as long as you have self-control and self-discipline. But at the end of the day, it's like Spirit is saying, it's affecting you and your money collective because you wake up with a hangover, nine to four. Close the door, please. I really do apologize, you guys. Okay, when it's the morning time, my house be wide awake. They be lit. Okay, we rise. What's this nine of swords? So somebody might be calling out the work today. Yes, seven of wands. Okay. You not have uh you call in for work. Yeah, look, the eight of pentacles. You call out for work. You like I I, I woke up not feeling good today. Or oh, emergency. Someone is saying that they have an emergency. A family emergency. I remember those days. <laughs> I remember those days, y'all. I'll tell you. What's the seven of wands? All because you chose to get fucked up with your good, good girl, girl. With your good, good girl friends last night. We got the high priestess. Mm-hmm. Doing stuff. Y'all ain't got no business with the high priestess. Being grown. Y'all being grown. <laughs> What's the high priestess for the moon in reverse? Why is this high priestess here? The food. Yeah. Y'all was being risky and frisky. What y'all got going on? <laughs> but you're definitely the type of person, like, even if you wake up and you have a hangover, you still be able to get your money. Like, I feel like with this food pot, like, you still make it to work. Like, you like, man, I know I don't feel like this mess today, but I'm going to just go ahead and just knock it out the park. Like, I need my queens, okay? So maybe you just feeling like this queen of pentacles in reverse because of how much you drunk last night. You drunk too much last night. Why is this moon card in reverse? Male or female, 717. Yeah, the eight of ones. I'm telling you, you still gonna go, but you, for some of you, I feel like y'all gonna call out. Y'all just too fucked up. Y'all too drunk, okay? Y'all wake up, y'all still dizzy and shit with the food card, okay? Y'all still, everybody get a head spot. Uh, uh, like, y'all still, and we be up in the club, we be posted in the back. <laughs> And we be in the club and all them hoes doing it. I'm telling you, I was getting y'all heads strung last night. I'm telling you, somebody gonna wake up busy. Okay, what's that? What's this food card? The six of wands. Mm-hmm. But you're definitely getting a lot of uh, recognition. Okay, you got a lot of support. You also have a lot of people that, that that's like, they very cool with you. They see you like a cool down to earth person overall. Okay. You get a lot of attention at work too. So I see a lot of people be whistling, blowing, tooting their horn, beep, 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 doo, doo, doo. ah, toot, toot, ah, beep, beep. So you get a lot of attention on the daily. It's nothing new to you is the energy I'm getting, okay? You just be making your way downtown, walking fast, chasing fast, and I'm homebound. For some of you, someone could be in jail trying to reach you or call you or text you or talk to you. So for some of you, someone is trying to like send you a message or send you a letter, okay? If you are dealing with someone in jail or you know someone that's in jail, okay? With the six of ones. For some of you, you could go, like you could be visiting this person today, okay? Is they still doing a virtual? Some of you guys, you have a virtual uh, interview to do today, okay? This is like the first step process to get you in the door because I'm pretty sure some jobs are still doing virtual uh interviews okay before they actually tell you come in and do a walk-in because i know certain places they still have that quarantine going on okay so where you are it might still be quarantining going on where i met people just don't give a fuck okay i'm just saying that we got the sun card okay you could be a leo Taurus, virgo capricorn gemini leave aquarius early or sagittarius cancer scorpio pisces why is this moon card here but overall you're going to have a good day okay make sure you guys are speaking affirmations Okay, speaking positivity, look at the mirror, say you're beautiful, you're gorgeous today. Do things that make you feel good today, even if you wake up with a hangover and you just like, man, fuck it. Okay, like still motivate yourself to get up and do what you need to do, okay? <clears throat> because it seems like, what's this? Mm -hmm. 
Now, for others of you, if you are like public influencers or you have a platform, social media, Instagram, TikTok, um, Snapchat, uh, Facebook, YouTube, it don't matter what it is. Whatever it is you're doing, if you are wanting to start a new channel or get that channel going, you need to start it, okay? Because you get a lot of downloads and messages daily of stuff that you could talk about, okay? And it's like, it's never nothing nobody can talk about. It's always a topic people can talk about, okay? When it comes to starting a new um, venture. So some of you guys are about to embrace this new journey, this new spiritual journey that you're on, okay? Becoming your own boss, your own entrepreneur. Some of you guys, you actually quit your job or something like that because it's Queen of Pentacles Universe. Yeah, you felt like it was just too much stress. It was too overwhelming. It was like just too much yeah two of ones you feel like that you want to see what's more out there for you okay for some of you guys only take that if it resonates okay for others of you guys i don't know why i'm getting like you could be a bikini model or something like that or you are like someone that how can i say like you dress up and you just take pictures on um your website your page but others of you, you could be like a TikTok dancer or creator or something like that. You could be a TikTok creator. And you go around traveling and you just dance. Okay? For some of you, someone definitely wants to take a leap of faith and they want to talk to you. So it's going to be a lot of texting and communicating back and forth with someone. Okay? Someone feels like it's victory and success with you. So reconciliation is coming towards you guys. Even if you feel like that you're at your lowest. Okay? Because I know at times with this point of pain, we feel like we're at our lowest. Like, we just feel like... Um, because you have endured a lot, you just feel like you're not worthy enough for whatever this feeling is. Give me one this Queen of Pentacles in reverse. The two of swords, yeah, it's just like y'all not feeling it. Cause you know I'm not sitting alone. Cause you said that you were so me all. Baby, that was a long time ago. I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling it. Let's go, let's go, little kitty cat. You don't want no more. Let's go, little kitty cat. I think it's time to go. I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling it. That's how it is. Like, y'all not feeling it today. What's going on? Here? We got the two of cups. Some of you guys, you want to be in a relationship. Okay? Could be two earth angels coming together with the real car. I picked that up in Capricorn's energy. Because if you look up what the demigod is, okay, that was something that we were supposed to learn and look up last night. Demigod is like half divine, half um, immortal. So it's like this person is not really a full, a whole human being. This person is like immortal. But they still have divine um, essence to them. Alright. Why is this? So y'all definitely could be seeing two, two, two as well. We got two, two, two out here. What's this two of swords? For some of you guys, you're not taking nobody back from your past. You're like five of ones. You're leaving the drama. Okay. Oh, I'm hurt. I heard for somebody else, baby mama. Yeah, the king of cups in reverse. Huh? Hold on, Toby. Someone is like mad and upset with you. Like you got somebody in their feelings. They the king of cups in reverse. They upside down. What's this king of cups in reverse? You must have pulled a, a them on them. Some You must have did something to somebody because they don't like it. Yeah, the Hierophant, Taurus. Like, this person is learning their lesson. Like, this person knows that something is done. It's over. Benito. Two of Swords. With the Death Card. Like, why is this King of Cups in reverse? Yeah, the Eight of Cups, I'm telling you, it's the King of Cups in reverse that's emotionally distressed. Because you walked away from it. And they know that it's over now. And this person is like, damn, I guess I do gotta let you go now. Because maybe someone was holding on to y'all and they wasn't doing nothing. They wasn't taking action. Okay? It's like you could have been waiting on this person. I've been picking this up lately. It's like somebody you guys been waiting on. Or been trying to get to know. Or like, just start a new journey with. And this person is not... They wasn't capable. Not saying it like that, because I don't want nobody to be like, what you mean, not capable? Like, they just wasn't able to give you their emotions when it was needed. Okay? And this person is learning a lesson about that. Like, staying closed off and hiding your emotions and feelings. It's not going to get you nowhere. It's period. It's just going to keep you in your feelings. 
So it's best to express those feelings than hold them in. This period, that's the truth. Ace of Swords, I'm telling you. That's why I'm so glad that I healed far as my emotions because I used to be like that too, y'all. Like, because I'm a cancer, so I'm the queen of cups. So I had to heal far as my emotions, like being expressive and open up. Because at first I used to 15, 15, just let relationships go. Like, after a while, like, once somebody just be like, oh, it, like, once it be like one little trial and error or something, like one little minor fuck up, you get what I'm saying? It's like, I used to just let it go. But now it's like, uh-uh, my, my guys be on me. They like, if you want something, you need to fight for it. If you want that person like you say you do, you need to fight for it. Look, that's the truth. Ace of Swords, I can't make this up, but look, here come the King of Swords with the Knight of Cups. It's like, if you want something, you need to fight for it. Because when we keep letting shit walk away and we keep letting shit go, we're never going to learn. That's another lesson that somebody is having to learn. See? That's why I love my guys. Because we, we, we actually helping y'all grow in a sense. We're not like over here just trying to keep y'all in a karmic toxic cycle. No, we actually helping y'all heal and elevate with y'all emotions and y'all feelings. Okay? Threes are all about form of expression. It's all about expressing yourself. Even if you sound corny, cheesy, or it's just like, what? I'm not about to say that. Like, just say it. Like, you don't know what somebody will respond back to. Okay, so we're learning the lesson of if you want it, something just as bad as you say you do, fight for it. That don't mean you got to chase after it and run after it. It just means fight for it. Ain't that's what people do any other time when they in the, they fight for toxic relationships, but they don't fight for the actual right relationships. Okay? That has structure, like with this uh, Herifon card. It's like everybody will fight for them devil relationships, but wouldn't nobody fight for like God-ordained relationships. That's going to be healthy, harmonious, balanced peace okay this person is going to accept you you're going to accept them because when you in toxic relationships y'all don't accept each other because i sitting up here throwing each other flaws back and forth with each other face to bring out insecurities like no ain't no healing it but everybody will fight for that shit though they fight to stay with a bra or a man that'll treat them like shit instead of fighting for something that can actually be good that can actually go great the sun and the six of one. As I said, we got to break down these old paradigms or these old outdated thought patterns or belief systems. Because we be fighting for all the wrong things and we still wonder why shit that's toxic don't work out. Because you fighting for all the wrong shit. That's not what you're supposed to be fighting for. That's something you're supposed to learn, let go, and release. Okay? Because someone is just emotionally withdrawn. Okay? And for others of you, this person that you're getting ready to meet or get to know, you're going to actually help this person learn how to express themselves and open up their emotions. Okay? We got the four cups with the king of swords. Someone feels like you don't want them no more. Why is this full cup here? Like someone feels rejected by you. The night is full. Yeah, they like if they rush towards you or text you or say something, you're going to reject them. Like somebody don't want to come towards you or make a move because they don't really know if you want them or not. So someone is having like mixed feelings. What's this night of swords? Yeah, the seven of swords in reverse. Yeah, someone is not sure, but they're deceiving themselves. Whoever this person is. Because some of you guys, you're actually very much so free-spirited. So you're free, able, and liable to do whatever it is that you want to do. Talk to whoever it is you want to talk to. Hang out, have fun. Just, you know, be whatever it is you want to be. What's this seven of swords? 
The king of wands and the magician. This person is definitely manifesting you. This person could be doing sex magic on you. <coughs> or picture magic. Here, yeah, look, the empress at the bottom of the deck. With the ace of wands. It's definitely this king of wands. Hmm? Yeah. I feel as though whoever this person is that feel like you don't want them no more. That's cool. Whoever this person is that feel like you don't want them no more, y'all going to want something new or whatever y'all got going on, okay? You know what you're doing. Um I feel like this person is trying to like trick you with the seven of swords. Because this person know, see, feel, this person see you moving on. They see it. Okay, they, they can't miss it. It's like right there. Let's see what this is. Yeah, the four pinnacles, and the person's still holding on to you. But they're not doing nothing about it. And we go, and it go right back to what I was saying. When it pertains to fighting for whatever it is that you want. You say you want it just as bad as you do. You need to fight for it. I don't, like, not trying to be pressed on nothing like that. But it's just to show y'all, like, where I'm coming from, okay? Because once again, you can do whatever it is you want to do. Can't nobody tell you what to do. Okay? I got away for this. And I damn sure ain't going to control nobody and tell them what to do. You feel me? I just get my opinion and get my advice or whatever the case may be. But I'm not going to sit up here and, like, look for validation to do certain things that I know I shouldn't be doing. Because I'm not about to validate nobody for their bull crap. Hmm? So press this X. What are you doing? So press the X. Please excuse me, y'all. Like, I can tell this girl to go over there and she'll still come back right here. Why is this magician in the King of Wands here? The Five of Pentacles. So someone that you had abandoned, or someone that feels abandoned by you, they're manifesting you back. We got the Wheel of Fortune here. Okay? It's like this person is like, when is their karma going to be over? Like this person can't take it anymore. This person might need somewhere to live or stay. Or well, this person might need some help. Just period. Why is this little fortune here? That's that's the truth. Or whoever this fiery sign is. That's manifesting you. Y'all not in communication for us. It's no 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 communication. But others of you, you're getting ready to be date you're getting ready to date a king of swords. Okay. If you're dating a king of swords, a Gemini Libra Aquarius, <laughs> if you're dating a Gemini Libra Aquarius or a masculine energy that's in this king of swords energy, okay? They come off as like, they don't show, like they don't, how can I say this? Like, it's some of y'all dealing with that don't show their feelings and emotions, but they have feelings and emotions for you. That's the thing. Okay? They just know how to strategically discreet that shit, like, I'm telling you, it's somehow y'all fucking with it's just discreet. Like, they close their emotions off. I don't feel like it's intentionally. It's just because this person is very protective over their heart. Like, this person already been through all that before. The pain, the hurt, the betrayal and all that. Like I said, if you've been watching the last readings I posted. Baby, I'm recording, though. You can't keep doing that, okay? So, it's like, this person, they come off as like they're uninterested. But they actually are with the Knight of Swords. And this person moves very quickly. Like when they are attracted to you or they want to get to know you or they like you, they move very quickly. Yeah, too, because I'm telling you, some of you guys are dating this person or seeing this person or spending time with this person or getting to know this person. Take away resume. And I keep getting that demigod energy because the Capricorn keep coming out. Zoe, stop. It's not ready. Press OK. I'm so sorry, y'all. I really do. Press play and go over there, please. Yeah, the strength card. Whoever this person is that's like this, they have like an ancient bloodline. They rule you like you. 
So it's like, don't let this person fool you. Like they come over as like they're uninterested in. They don't have no emotions and feelings, but don't let this person fool you because they do. They do. Okay? This person is missing you already. Five of Cups. They missing you. And they think about you a lot. Eight of Swords. I feel like you and this person think about each other. Six of Swords. I'm telling you, this is guided, though. Whoever this person is, it's guided. Okay? It's like the most high, your ancestors, spiritual team is all over this what this person is right here. Yeah, look, the Ten of Pentacles spoken out. I can't make this up if I wanted to in the hangman. What's this? This is guided, okay? This person comes off emotionally withdrawn or emotionally detached, okay? They have their reasons, okay? So you can't fault this person. Just go with the flow with this person. Just go with the flow. Just go with the flow. That's all I can say. Because it's going to be a, like grand. Okay? This is going to be a very good connection. The sun and the six of wands. We don't really have no bad energy cards out here for real. And then for some of you, if you're having like financial um, issues, like when it comes to your finances, like maintaining them, um, your savings and building. This person is going to help you with that. Like, make a financial plan. Like, because this person, they're very good with finances. And they're very good with budgeting. So, if it comes to anything like financial issues and problems, not saying this person going to be like, oh, he, you can have whatever you want. But no, like, if you need that help, like, open your mouth and say that to this person. Okay? because we're in the energy of understanding that money flows to us effortlessly and abundantly so we're not supposed to hold on to money okay hold on to it and save it for your priorities and what you need to do but it's supposed to move it's supposed to flow because when you hold on to it you block the other flow of abundance that's coming to you okay so some of you guys you could be holding on to your money a little bit too tightly okay and it's like when you're in that 27, 27, when you're in that energy of becoming your own boss or your own entrepreneur or you're someone that's trying to like get it out the mud, because that's what this is. You're getting it out the mud at this point. You're supposed to run through any other finances that you have because the money that you're getting out, of mud, out the mud is going to be yours to claim because it's your birthright to have those things. So some of you guys... You have money owed to you that's coming towards you, okay? And you're going to have people that's going to try to, like, sneak their way back into your life because of that, okay? And right now, you're at your lows, I feel, because the Queen of Pentacles in reverse the Five of Pentacles. That's why we got to start seeing these people for who they are. Like, if they're not what you shooting in the gym, don't, when you get this financial blessing or when you get this breakthrough, because y'all is about to have a major breakthrough, Okay, if you checked out Aries reading, we had the Empress, the Tower, the Will of Fortune, the Ace of Swords, and we had man, I think that was all four cards, if I'm not mistaken. It's going to be a major breakthrough, but this is from all the hard work and dedication you put into yourself. Okay, the blood, sweat, and tears because not only were you manifesting. You was actually healing and breaking generational curses as well. And because you broken generational curses, it opened up doorways and opportunities for the money to flow to you. That's what I'm saying. Like, you see, that's why at the beginning of this read, I said it's portals opening up for you. So by the Lions Gate portal, we do got this sun in the six to one. Okay. Like, some of you guys, you're actually an overnight successor, like, an overnight celebrity. Celebrity? Like, things are going, things are happening overnight. Like, literally. And even though you might not see it right now, but it is. There's a lot of growth and expansion. And, and, and you're being recognized. Okay. What's this Ace of Swords?
Also, it could be a queen of pentacles that's stressed out. Like, it could be a third party that's stressed out because somebody blocked them. Okay? Somebody blocked them. And someone is now listening to their intuition and letting their intuition guide them. Somebody is not about to keep being indecisive over whatever it is they want. That's why I said somebody might come on towards you like they are interested, but they definitely want you. They know what it is that they want and all that. And it's you. Just point blank period. I don't know what else to say. And for some of you, this is your karmic justice. Yeah, the two of pentacles. This person might juggle a lot because they are a very busy person. They work a lot. This person might juggle a lot. And I'm telling you, something about your finances are about to change. 88 is all about finances. We got 888. I'm telling you, just because you don't see it don't mean it's not happening. Let everybody else see you as what, however they see you or perceive you to be. But everybody else, like your true supporters, that's been there rocking with you since day one, they want to see. They see the growth in you. And some of you guys, you are tarot readers, or you just, you do something far as, like, pertaining your gifts on social media, whether it's as a singer, a dancer, a songwriter, a blogger, a podcaster. Um, you make pranks. You do whatever it is you do. You, your, your channel is about to fluctuate because it's growing, it's building. And you're attracting more clients to you. You're attracting more people to you. Okay? So, I'm telling you, you're about to have an unexpected breakthrough. It's going to take all your stress, your pain, your worries away about your finances. That's why the Queen of Pentacles came out in reverse. Whatever it is pertaining to your finances that was stressing you, worrying you, causing you to be up, trying to figure out how you're going to have your next meal or how you gonna do this and do that oh it's coming it's definitely coming i'm gonna start in front of the bottom now we yeah. hold on the world come telling you i just heard that kevin gates verse when he was like uh, I've been locked in. I've been boxed in. Something about it. He said you. He said you'd rather do a work. He said you'd rather go to work or do a day in jail. Ain't never seen your name in no paper. Then hard on the soul. Like so I'm trying to figure out what he said, but he was like, when they ever brought food to my table. That's what I'm saying. Like you got people that's trying to eat off you, bro. They want your clout or something like that. Be mindful, cause somebody is like very sneaky if somebody is a thief around you okay somebody is like plotting and planning strategically on how they can take from you just period and then y'all got somebody that's like coming off as like nonchalant and cold but they had their reasons like just period so you take it where it resonates okay i feel like whoever this king of cups is in reverse that you walked away from they could be going through an awakening we'll be at 33 the real call hmm. like this person somebody don't even be somebody be like I don't know who this person is. This person ruthless with their mouth. Like, they disrespectful. Like, this person don't know how to talk to people. But they come on sweet, charming, and romantic. But this person is a, a jackass or something like that. An asshole or something. Somebody is a big asshole. Just period. It's like this person, I don't know. It's weird. Like this energy is weird. It's like throwing me left. Cause it's like a love hate thing. Like what? Like it's a love hate thing. I don't know what else to say. Cause like one minute this person is cursing you out and talking shit about you. And then the next minute, they want to come towards you and ask you out on a date. Like, I don't know. What the fuck is this? What is this? What is this, y'all? 
<laughs> what? Okay, well, some of y'all, y'all always fussing, fighting, and arguing, going back and forth with your child father or with your boyfriend. Okay, now for some of you, you're still dealing with your ex. It's time for you to step. Like, you need to leave that shit alone, man or woman. Okay, because y'all starting to argue over the stupidest shit now. It's just starting to be, like, repetitive at this point. Okay, and it's causing unnecessary towers for no reason. Like, just give it up already. Like, leave it the fucking line. I mean, like I said, you can do whatever you want. But it is a karmic cycle somebody is still in. Okay. Or somebody is about to reopen because they keep going back to somebody to their from their past. Can you close that door, please? Yeah, three of wands. For some of you, this is your baby mama. Can you close the door, please? At a distance. Okay. And you have to, like deal with her because of a child which is understandable but don't let this person get you out of your element somebody is getting you out of your element that's why you the king of cups in reverse somebody is getting somebody out of their element like somebody is peace calm cool collected and then it's like as soon as their phone rings it's a disagreement or argument over dumb petty shit like somebody just petty for no reason and it's starting to be annoying like for real because it keep popping up in my shit i'm not trying to keep talking about that because i can care less about drama because i'm not a drama filled person like no and then it's like this person just gossips a lot i'm hearing gossip girls so it could be a group of females just gossiping trying to figure out who you are like where you from this is definitely for y'all if y'all talking to somebody new Okay, this person could be could have talked to their friends about you, or they could have told their friends about you. And these people are trying to figure out who you are. <laughs> they trying to figure out who you are. This person could have even like told them what you do for work. So, say for instance, you're a psychic. Okay, these people want to follow you. They want to look you up. They want to see what you're doing. Okay. That's how I said this person is not afraid to let people know who you are whoever this person is like they already like revealing you to people and all that two of swords and some of you y'all don't even know that this is going on but they do compliment you and say you're beautiful you're handsome you're very attractive some of these people say where this person finds you at <laughs> oh y'all funny they funny yo but some of these people approved of you, okay? They say that you are a good match for this person, okay? That's what I said for some of you. This person is an earth angel like you. And here we go with the angel and the demon again. The de the demigod and the angel. And I said this in Capricorn's reading, okay? Y'all just got to be mindful because people is going to try to, like, burden you and this person. Okay, so keep this relationship or whatever y'all got going on discreet as possible. Like keep people out of y'all business because an energy exchange already happened and now it's just the seven of pentacles because we got the eight of pentacles out here. We got the five, five of pentacles. Yeah, it was something you had to, like, completely leave, walk behind, and let go. Okay? And by you completely walking away and letting go and leaving it behind is what's making you get the things that you do deserve. And this is, like, something that you need. This is a person you need, not what you want. And I've been saying that, too. You're not going to always get the person that you want because sometimes the person that you want is not good for you. You need a person that you need, something that's going... You need a person that's going to help you learn lessons. Hold on real quick. Oh. Zoe, hold on for a second, baby girl. Please. Okay. Now what I was saying... <laughs> Okay, what I was saying was like, 
Cause it's like, you gonna get to know this person personally, okay? On a personal level. This person is like a very quick action taker. They're not like impulsive. They might move impulsively or they might do things very quickly, very rationally. Thank you, Spirit. This person do things very rationally because they're strategic. That's why I say, so that when this person come in, don't be caught up in your head because this person is doing this and doing that. Like they're showing you like, oh, they're not into you. I'm telling you. This person had their reasons to be that way. They're trying to read you. They're trying to learn you, study you. They're observing you. Like, this person is an observer. Like, they observe a lot. They pay attention to everything you say, how you say it, what you do. Even if you and this person is texting back and forth, they reread the messages to go over everything you say. Like, this person is more of, like, an action taker. That's why this King of Wands magician is. But it was something you had to leave behind and let go. Because not everybody is going to come. I heard gift wrapped. <laughs> but not everybody is going to come like what you expected. Okay? So sometimes you do got to like date what you're, you're not. Okay? Someone that's not your usual. You got to date someone that's not your usual. Because that's what you learn. So it's like two opposites coming together. Just period. The four ones and the emperor. I'm telling you. It's like when opposites attract. Y'all might have some similarities or comparisons or things y'all do almost alike, but when you actually get to know this person personally, generally is what I'm hearing. Big general. I told you somebody is like a big general. That's why I said this is a demigod y'all fucking with. This is like, it's giving me Kevin Gates vibes. Like, that's what this person is giving me. But they don't come, they, I can't explain it. Because I don't know what people think a demigod is supposed to look like. Oh, they supposed to look so heavenly. Or they supposed to look like... Like they coming like, huh? Oh, some shit like that, though. No. That's not what that is. Okay, I put up in my community board what a demigod is. A demigod is somebody that been through a lot of casualties in their life. Like they've been in the trenches all their life. And that's all they know. But because they done made a name for the stumping grounds that they've been on. It's like they made a name in the spiritual. Because you know... What you do in the physical is basically how you are in the spiritual. So if you are someone that's fighting off wars and shit like that, or you just somebody that been in the trenches, but you be in the trenches the right way. You're not out here bracing motherfuckers and doing this, that, and the third. You're doing it the right way. Okay? It's no right or wrong way. It's however you do. But long story short, we ain't going to get into it because I'm not trying to do too much with this person because I'm reading this person right now and I ain't trying to channel this person because too many people be nosy. And that's what this person knows as well. But anyway, that's what I said. This person knows. They smart as a whip. There's nothing slow, stupid, or dumb about this person. They knew who you were before you can even tell this person. Before you met. That's what I said. This person is guided. They was guided and sent to you. I don't know what else to say. I'm telling you, they very studious. Like, And this person can hear your thoughts. You can hear their thoughts. That's what that four cups is. Mm -hmm. Anyway, as I was saying, just, yeah, that's not what that is. Okay? They've been through a lot of casualties. Okay? And them casualties is what made them build character and made them build discipline. Like, this person is very disciplined with the hair front. And this person is not loose and wild with their sexual energy because the Knight of Wands ain't come out yet. All we got is this King of Wands. That's what I'm saying. Like, y'all got somebody that's like you, two mirrored souls together, or whatever the case may be. The high priestess and the hierophant. That's what I said. This is your person. Because the devil in the, in the temperance. Because you, I'm. Oh. So this is what this is. I'm starting to get it. So you know how the divine feminists. We're spiritual right. 
So we fight our wars spiritually and you know how to mask it. Okay, so you know how in the Tarot, when you have a divine counterpart come out as the Hierophant and the High Priestess. I'm learning now that this Hierophant energy is basically, the reason why this is the masculine energy being the Hierophant. When it's a twin flame connection is because this person has a lot of street smarts experience and you are the book smarts. Look, look at her. You are the street smart. So not only do you and this person have the keys, it's like you and this person are the only ones that can unlock something. It's a code or something you and this person about to unlock in each other's lives. This is crazy. And I said this in Capricorn's reading. You can be dealing with Capricorn, Sagittarius, Leo, a Libra, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We got all signs out here for real, for real. And this person is longer for you. They're back the fuck up. That's why I said this is somebody that, like, has discipline. They're not loose with their sexual energy. Okay? This person has very good health. We got the sun and the nine of cups. The hermit and the empress. I'm telling you. This person red scanned you. This person has like, I don't know what this person got, but I'm telling y'all, this person got some gifts that's off the chain. Cause this person is a, I ain't gonna say a demon cause they're not a demigod. What's the, I know it's the, it's the fucking, uh, oh my gosh, here we go. This person has scanned, like they can scan you. What's this like a what's that fuck off of Teen Titans? You know the little the little Cyclops joint, the dude and he had the little eye and it can scan you almost like the Terminator. That's what the fuck. Look, let me get the fuck out of this person energy, y'all, because I'm telling you, this person got some very unique ass gifts and they kind of strange a little bit. Like what? Shit, let me get that so I can just be scanning motherfuckers. Like this, because you know most people be like, oh, scanning like what reading energy. No, this person is different. Because they and they king of swords energy. So it's like this person now has to shift their energy. Because they're very intuitive. They're very tapped in. When they're in their emotions, they can feel you. But when they get to the king of swords, like their first time coming around you, they go into like this scanner energy. Like they're a, a, a walking device or some shit like that. That's what this, like, oh, no. Nah. It's like this person is a walking device. But y'all came out as the Hurfa and the High Priestess. It's something about this person, their gifts. Is 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 a little strange. You gonna be like, what? <laughs> the, I'm still getting to know this person. Just as well as y'all getting to know this person. Okay. That's because whatever kind of healing y'all been doing. Or y'all that did is what made y'all manifest a demigod. Like, I don't know what y'all got in y'all bloodline, y'all DNA, or what kind of ancestors y'all got. But, baby, I'm telling you, most people look at this like a, a demon and an angel coming together. This is what this person is, a demigod. It's like a, a, a mortal mixed with a, a divine. Just look it up, because that's what that is. I'm telling you, this person bring like they so balanced. They know how to use their energies properly, and I said that in Capricorn's energy, this person is not destructive with their shit. Like it's very rare you see people that are like demigods, like for real in the flesh. Cause some masculine energies, when they're in this low vibrational energy, they stay low vibration. This person not. Because this person is like, they build up enough experience with this demonic energy. And now they're going into this stuff. Look, I hope y'all get what I'm saying. Shit me. But this is definitely new love in y'all life. Okay. And keep it close to your chest with the four swords as you should. And the seven of pentacles. 
Because the energy exchange already happened for some of you. Okay, not for all of you. Like, you will know. Just pay attention to the signs and synchronicities. Because not all of you are experiencing this. Okay, because I don't want people to be going around saying, oh, I got a demigod and this and the third. Nah, baby. That's what I said. If you read cards, you need to read your own cards and see what person is coming towards you. Because some of you guys are still closing out tight cycles because you need to detach from people. Like y'all still are all involved in around people that are toxic. Okay? That's why this new love or this new person haven't arrived yet because y'all still around toxicity. Okay? Like you gotta completely cut off the people that no longer serve you. Like at all. Okay? Like you have to. Whoever it is, whomever it is, whatever it is. Okay. I'm telling you, look. For some of you, I cannot make this up, y'all. I cannot make this up if I wanted to. The magician, the queen of pentacles. Some of you guys manifested this already. The knight of wands is coming towards you. Or already has. This is this person I was telling y'all about this king of swords. Because look, here he go again. As I said, I can't. Three of Wands, the Hierophant. This is guided. This person. And judgment. As I said, this energy is not going to come towards y'all until y'all close out and cut people off. Because once you do that, you're not going to need these people around you. This person comes in with enough protection as it is like this person already come armored up it's something about this person energetic field y'all seen that seven of pentacles with the devil and the temperance card and the seven of pentacles in the middle it's something about this person energetic field like no because this person is immortal for real they're not really actually human <laughs> I can't even that's just like you if you're an earth angel you're not really human you are actually an angel you just here on earth just experiencing okay because you're on a mission and that's just like this person so maybe this person's mission is to like be in the trenches be be in the physical plane and you just focus on the spiritual you get what I'm saying but it all gonna it's all gonna come together it's all gonna correlate like, look, y'all got to study y'all self. Like, I ain't not, not about to keep dropping the tea and the bomb on y'all, okay? Because for some of you, I really feel like this is not for a lot of you. This is for majority of you. And it's coming in very soon. Like, very soon. It's happening. And it's something about this person's sexual energy is different, Okay? Because I know how most people like shit. Dingling is dingling. Coochie is coochie. Nah, baby. When this person and you get together, it's it's like some supernatural uh, shit going to happen or go on. I picked that up too in my channeling some months ago. You just got to like, just watch my readings, y'all. Because I be already saying this shit and picking it up. It's just, it be brought back up because it's happening now. Like for some of you, this is going on now and it's happening now. <clears throat> The Ten of Wands and the King of Wands, I'm telling you. Y'all need to make sure y'all use protection now. Because this person is fertile and you fertile. Just period. But this person do want kids. Because I keep saying that's in the cup. And the Ace of Cups, yeah, baby. Mm -mm -mm. That's a done deal for people. When this person come in and come towards y'all. Because ain't nobody going to be able to get through to you. Because it's like, when you and this person connect stronger or, 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 or keep having that energy exchange, it's like y'all telepathic and all that is going to get stronger and stronger and stronger. And at this point, y'all ain't going to be, y'all ain't going to need no phone to communicate. Like you're just not. That's why I said this person's like a fucking walking device. Look, I ain't got time. <laughs> I ain't got time for it today. I ain't got time for it. My spirit guys, I ain't got time for it. 
And I just saying the Hierophant, the High Priestess, the Empress, the Emperor, the Death, and the, and the Food card. I'm telling you. This is something new. Like, you gonna have to open up your, change your perspective about this. Okay? About this message that you're receiving or this information that you're getting. That's why healing is essential. It's imperative. Because the more healing you do, the more you expand and open your mind to understand the messages and the information you're getting. Because I know some of you guys going to be like, what? You sound cuckoo and crazy. Yeah, because this information ain't for you. So, of course, I'm going to sound crazy because you don't understand and you don't get it. Okay? Some of us, some people are actual human beings and some people are not. And that's real shit. That's why so many people are awakening to who they truly are. Because once so many people awaken and know who they are and their abilities and gifts that they have, why you think they make all these 55, 55? Why you think they make all these damn movies, the Avengers and all that? What you think they making it just to make it? No, we really have abilities and gifts. If we wanted to turn the power off by our fucking self, we could turn it off. If we wanted to go start a fire some fucking way, we could do that. That's what I'm saying. But we have to know how to use our own abilities. Like, people be thinking that shit that they be showing on TV is just a movie. Oh, it's a movie. No, they telling you what the fuck you are. You're just not paying attention. That's what the fuck that is. Y'all don't pay attention. That's how you know the TV got y'all brainwashed. The TV got y'all brainwashed. That's why it's called television. Tell your vision lies. The whole time it's telling your vision the truth. Everything you watch and look at. It's telling you who you are right there. They just dangling it in your face like a rabbit. Because they're trying to see if you really going to go down the rabbit hole. Or you just going to stay trying to jump and get that carrot. Like which one is it? Only you can take the red or the blue pill. Can't nobody force you to take which pill you're going to take. But once you choose which side or which pill you're going to eat. You got to continue on it. You can't say, oh, no, nah, no, nah, let me go back now. Let me. No, once you win it, you win it. Because it's going to be a point in time where we need our abilities for the shit that's going to happen. I don't want this. I don't want that. I'm about to tell y'all this um, quick little download I had that I was supposed to give y'all. What you want? Uh, I want. That I was supposed to give y'all. The pink one. It's locked. You can't use the paint. Because it's locked. It's locked. So, I was just chilling one day, right, y'all? And I was saying, so don't you know how in our dreams... Mommy, is that locked? Yeah. I was saying, don't you know in our dream state, when we're always fighting spiritual Mommy, warfare yeah. and spiritual battles and stuff like that, not noticing that our dreams are reality, right? So, if you can see in your dreams stuff that's going to happen to you before it happens then that's giving you a clear indication that what's going on in our dreams is preparing us for what's happening in the physical. Some of us are already doing it, and some of us are opening up to it, okay? They're awakening to it. You just got to know your place, your role and position, okay? When it's time for war, because you're already suited up and booted up, you're already armored up. It's just you got to be able to do that in the physical plane, not only just the spiritual plane. You get what I'm saying? Like, this shit gets deep. That's why I said people think spirituality is easy. Nah, you got to keep that arm on you at all times. And you got to remain knowing who you are at all times. Because in a blink, in a second, you could lose yourself real quick. It don't matter how much healing you did. You can still spiral back down and go back down. Because you can feel like it's too much. It's too overbearing or it's too overwhelming. And then that's when some people, they leave and they go to suicide because they don't know how to um, just let the flow of things flow through them as they're going through this awakening. That's why I said some people think this shit is, is, is a piece of cake. It's not. Because once you go through this awakening, you're opening yourself up to see beyond the physical. So you're going to feel like you're tripping or you're going crazy. And sometimes you're going to want to ask people around you, hey, did you see that or what's that or did you hear that? But you can't. Sometimes you can't because not everybody is awake. <laughs> I'm telling you. 
they might come off as they are awakened or they are aware and they have some knowledge but it's different because you're gaining access to a whole nother to other dimensions not everybody can get access to these dimensions that's what i said you got to really know who you are that's what i said because it's humans and then it's non-humans and then we got reptiles and then we got draconians we got all this shit aliens all that it's not just oh you're a human being no that's not what that is because if you were how are you able to get in connection with other dimensions like make it make sense sometimes we gotta make sure it makes sense and I'm at one minute. I ain't gonna keep wrapping y'all up. I love you guys so very much. I think I need to just go back going live because now that my gifts are heightened and I'm awakening and my throat chakra is fully clear and it's unblocked, it's like I'm fully able to like give y'all these downloads and these messages fluently to where so y'all can have more understanding on your journey and who you are as an individual and the person that you're supposed to be fighting this war with, okay? Because people think the twin flame journey, oh, you're going to be romanticizing and having sex and doing this. No, y'all fighting battles together. That's what that is. By your person out in the physical, you got to be in the spiritual. It's period. Everybody is in the field, B. Ain't nobody, ain't no days off here. You feel me? But I love you guys so very much. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell. Notice. Peace.